guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see i did a sleek ponytail less is always more for me i really like the style of whatever is simple that's what i go for um i do not have much time in my schedule in the daytime so you'll probably see me do very um easy styles i actually started to do in box braids and I literally stopped while well, I was parting my hair because I'm like no I cannot do this I can't spend the whole day um, parting my hair or box braiding my hair because I have a lot of things to do um, so it's actually my first time doing this um, with the braiding hair and I think I did a pretty decent job I've identified where I went wrong whilst I was braiding the hair, however, edges are silly and lean and you know I cannot do my edges um, and I am not a makeup girl, I'm trying girl, I'm trying, um, <coughs> just watch the video. Hi guys, as you can see I am going in with my shine and jam i always call it sham and shine and i didn't I weren't realizing that it was, it's called shine and jam my voice sounds terrible because i'm at the end of uh, a cold that i have um so when you are trying to do a sleek ponytail um the proper thing to do is to do it in small sections is to lay it down in small sections this will definitely help to get it like really sleek um it doesn't matter the type of hair texture that you have unless it's caucasian you know and that's not what we're dealing with right now however um for our hair type it is best to do it in small sections so as you can see i had um divided my hair into four, one two three four sections and um, this is just better to maneuver my hair sometimes my hair just gets like out of control as you can see that just uh, just now it just helps with better guidance you know into like parting the sections and just laying them laying it down um to get it sleek part by part it, it does help um especially when you have a lot of hair dealing with now i'm just using my comb to um and the free spray to like just mold it down and then i'm gonna like just make little parts just to go over it and you'll see that even even the product that's already at the um the previous part that was molded down it will definitely seep through your hair so you can end end up using less product in your hair
when I had to do that um, part off camera but as you can see that I am just trying to clean up around it and use my spritz um, spray to get it all nice and firm and I'm putting some jam on my hair to just tame it a little bit in order um, to just control it when I'm trying to braid when I start to braid now I made a mistake and and a part with and along with not being able to see in the back of my head I was just trying to go with just feeling I had a little mirror but it wasn't that much help now <clears throat> sorry you want to just try and braid the like the, that top part like very tight or tight enough to hold your hair because I didn't braid it tight enough so what ended up happening was that my hair kind of um, came out a little bit um, out of the braid but it wasn't really a big deal but that was just a little mistake that I made however um, when you are doing it just try to get that initial braid at the top like kind of tight tighter as you can see i was just trying to feel to see how tight it was and it wasn't that tight but i kept i kept adding in here because this hair was like 48 inches from the expression pre-stretched kind of color on hair and it wasn't that long so I just wanted a little bit more length 48 inches is not really that long trust me in braided hair so I tried to add more hair in there to give it a little bit more length 